Good morning, and welcome to the William Jones Project. As I said in previous broadcasts, I am going to be bringing you some information and insights on several areas that have impacted my life. Uh, as you know, um, I just recently retired, uh, and actually retirement is just a word you know the best retirement that we as black people and those that are the working middle class working middle class poor uh, the best retirement that you're going to get is your health and your strength so you'll have some longevity in your latter days the system was never set up for you to have a comfortable life and if you didn't invest when you were young, there's a very strong possibility that you do not have enough resources to retire on when you get to the age where you can no longer work and give a productive output for those who are looking to hire you. Um, I've been self-employed and I've worked for other people and sometimes necessity dictates that you do have to work for other people. Sometimes you have to get on someone else's program and agenda to survive. But I do recommend that when you do get in position where you can be your own boss, your entrepreneur, the shot caller, the baller, the CEO, I really recommend that you uh, attempt to do that. It's so much freedom. It's a lot of work, of course, a lot of work. Uh, but it's so much more freedom, so much less stress. Well, on today, I want to talk about uh, retirement. I want to talk about Medicare. I want to talk about Social Security. I want to talk about getting your passport. Those are the three things I want to try to hit on. It's a little time we have. There's so much to talk about. I want to give you the ins and outs on how to effectively navigate yourself through uh, getting your passport as well as navigating through the maze of communicating with Social Security um, and we uh, may even talk about uh, you know debt and how debt affects you in your older age uh, well the first thing I do want to talk about is this uh, the economy is in a mess the American dollar in the United States is barely worth the paper that is printed on. But the amazing thing is that the American dollar is so strong outside the United States. That being so, if inflation continues to take hold of our society, where inflation goes up, but the wages don't go up, and benefits don't go up, it's, it's a trap. Because what happens when you get in your older age, uh, you don't have the ability uh, to work as proficient as you used to, number one. Number two, you don't have the, um, the resources that you had when you were younger, so therefore your standard of living begins to go down. Pensions are no longer available. If you didn't start your 401k in the beginning of your working history, you don't really have enough money. If you retire today with $400,000 in your account, you would be able to live comfortably for about eight years at a middle class status. That's burning anywhere from $35,000 to $38,000 a year. That's all you'd be able to uh, last is eight years. And after those eight years go by after retirement, then your working capability has gone down so much, you're in a quandrum you're in a you're in a box and once you get in that box it's hard to pull yourself out of it because none of us have enough money for retirement no I don't have enough money for retirement I have a little bit but I have to keep myself in a position where I am healthy where I'm alert where I watch my health where I, where I take care of the necessities of my physical body and my my spiritual mind so that, that I might be viable when it comes to some level of employment. 
Now, when we say retire, there's no such thing as retirement for most of us. If you're not wealthy, uh, you don't have a retirement. And if you don't listen to me and take heed today, you're gonna be like a lot of these people you see under bridges because the inflation's going up, minimum wage is staying the same. And if we don't make some modifications in how we do what we do, uh, seeing that we don't have uh, pensions and our 401k and our Roth IRA accounts, you know, are being taxed and we don't have enough means and money to be able to invest in these opportunities that our employers supply for us, then what happens is we're, we're calling it a catch 22. And I want to give you some insight today that's going to help you navigate through this. The first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you get you a a fitness pass. You need to join somebody's gym. You need to get in that gym and you need to go in that gym, gym diligently and you need to work out and and not only will you work out and reduce body fat, but you'll work out and you release tension and uh, you'll be able to have a network of people that you see on a regular basis that will keep you accountable. Um, number two, you need to start getting your rest. Number one killer of people is not cancer, it's not crazy other diseases. The number one killer of people is two things, lack of rest and dehydration. Your body repairs and recovers itself uh, when you rest and when you get proper hydration in your body. You're able to lock and load and come back and do it again on the second day and the third day and the fourth day where you can be productive. If I give anything to you today, you need to stay active, you need to stay hydrated, and you need to get your sleep. Also, you need to understand you need to start removing people out of your life that are time wasters. There are people that are seem like they're attached to you some way, somehow, and all they do is waste your time. They don't deposit anything positive. They always bring a negative. They always want to do things that are not centered around your vision, your goal, your destination. So therefore, they waste your time. The word time in the Greek uh, translates to the word price. So there is, a there is a price on your time. Your time is valuable. And if you're gonna be successful, you need to stop wasting time. And I know we all procrastinate, I procrastinate. Something terrible. But you know, at this point in my life, I have to have a vision board. I write everything down on a board and I start striking those things off as I get them done. And it seems like once you finish those things, there's always something else that needs to be done. But you need to get structured, you need to get organized, and you need to get time wasters out of your life. Now, if you hear a little noise around me, I am at the mall here. I came out here and got me a cup of coffee and a Danish, uh, but I was really compelled to uh, come on here and speak to uh, the truth in your life. Um, the first thing I want to say to you, if you don't make these changes, you're going to be caught up in this matrix. And you're not going to be able to distinguish from that which is reality and that which is true. And many of us are going to be caught in this matrix and won't be able to get out. So I really recommend, uh, number two, that you go ahead and get your passport. Whatever you have to do, whatever you have to clean up, whatever you have to... Uh, uh, subdue, you need to get your passport. You know, there was a time when everyone wanted to be in the United States of America, but the economy is so whack that a lot of people are trying to flee from the United States, especially those that are coming into their golden years. So if you're going to survive, if you're going to see a bigger scale of what's going on in the world, you need to get your passport. You know, you're going to have to get your um, child support affairs in order, your tax affairs in order. You're gonna to have to reduce your debt. You're gonna to have to uh, come out of this mode of show and tell, trying to drive the biggest car and have the biggest ring and the biggest chain. You gotta come up out of that, you know, because it's, all it is is wasting your time and wasting your resources. You're gonna to have to come to the realization what is important and what's not important. And right now, what's important is your health. As I say, as I get ready to bring this to a close on the last point here. Uh, you need, as I said, you need to take care of yourself. Get your